Hello, Dave Dog here. This is The Road to Glory with Bradford Park Avenue and we're in our second season and today we're at home to an uneaten borough. But first of all, let's have a look at the previous results since you were last with us. We opened the season with a 4-2 home defeat to Boston. Looked back at that game, looked back at the highlights and realised we weren't that bad at all. It was just those late goals and uh, I'm going to take responsibility for that in not changing the team with the tiring players. I should have made some more subs. Also going on to positive when it was 2-2. I should have kept on balanced. Maybe just kept for the 2-2 draw. Anyway, I'm taking responsibility for that. Team didn't play that badly when looking back on it. So after that one, we went away to Southport and reversed that score, winning 4-2. We were 2-0 down after 11 minutes, uh, Connor Heath 3 minutes and uh, a Miami penalty after 11 minutes giving penalties away still. Hamed soon reduced the deficit on 12 minutes and we went in 2-1 down at half time. Second half goals from Denson and 2 from Finn O'Boyle gave us a 4-2 win. Finn O'Boyle picking up the man of the match at 9.1. Very good performances by our forward players in that one. Looking better then after that. We played Hereford at home and drew 2-2. Again, penalty conceded, 36 minutes, 1-0 at half-time to Hereford. Carter Denson drew his level on 54 minutes. We have Carter Denson and David Hammett as our strike force now, our two 17-year-olds. Jacob Blythe has left us. He's gone to Ilkston. He's finally left us. He hadn't been playing well, so decided to let him go. And we're going with the two 17-year-olds at the moment. We are looking for a more experienced striker, maybe someone in the physique of Blythe, a bigger man up front, but we're yet to find one. As we've been saying previously, difficult to get players in. We've got news of one possible signing and uh, one that's got away, but more about that later. So, 2-2, two, two, 90 plus 4, Carter Denson equalised for us right at the death. It was like a win was that one. It looked like we were going down to another defeat. Next game, away to Peterborough Sports. Will Longbottom opened the scoring on 17 minutes. We were playing really well and Jamie Spencer got himself sent off on 40 minutes. We were down to 10 men for 50 minutes of the game. That finally told they equalised on 77 minutes. But overall a good game even at uh, with 10 men and at 1-1 we were still in with chance. Defence not playing so well in that game. Very strange that Jamie Spencer red carded after 40 minutes still got the man in the match at 7.2. The next game we played... Charlie at home, we were favourites for that to win, but things didn't go right. Finn O'Boyle gave us a lead on four minutes. Three goals then from Charlie gave them a win. Two in the second half, another penalty given away. We're giving away lots of penalties, I don't know why. Just rash tackles by our defenders. They're not on tackle hard. We're going to have to look at these defenders. Maybe they're not as good as uh, we think they are. The last game we played was Alfreton away. Alfreton doing well. And wasn't expecting anything from this game. Will Longbottom from the penalty spot. We got a penalty in this game to bring it back to 2-1 on 65 minutes. But the last minute, a very harsh goal to, to concede. I don't think we were, were that bad. And 2-1 uh, would have been a fairer score. Staunton picking up our man of the match in this one. So on to today then. We've got Nuneaton at home. They are next to bottom of the league. So we'll be in with a... Good chance on paper. And uh, let's have a look at today's team then. So just one change for this game. Hopper's coming in on the right-hand side for Doherty. So the team is GSK in goal. New signing Osborne at right-back. Lund is playing left-back now. Staunton and Fielding in the centre of defence. O'Dunston is in as a ball-winning midfielder in defence. He's taking over from Jamie Spencer, who is still suspended. He's got three-match suspension for that sending off. I think this, this is the final game of that suspension. So Hopper, as we said, coming in on the right-hand side. And Longbottom, who's been playing well on the left-hand side. And our young front three. Shadow striker Finn O'Boyle is 19. And our two forwards, Hamed and Denson, 17-year-old. But uh, knocking the goals in those three. We just need to keep them out at the other end. But 23rd place, none eaten. Good chance of a win here. We're going in positive. Let's hope we can get the three points on the bench today. We've got Connor McLaughlin, Tom Sams, Brad Doherty, Eddie Church and Lloyd Smith. So as we say, let's get into the game against Nuneaton and hopeful of three points. 
So it's non eaten that get us underway, and you can see a couple of players. Lucas, who took the kick off there, is there forward, just heading that there. But Boyle picks it up. Lucas is there forward, and Lucas is also the referee. I hope they're not uh, related in any way. Denson crosses in. Oh, Boyle, and it's over the bar. First chance in the first minute there to us. And uh, the other player of note in their team is a left back, Dodgson. A uh, player who we tried to get in the close season was at Burnley. Said we weren't good enough. Uh, he was looking for something of a higher standard. And uh, now he's signed for Nuneaton next to bottom of the league. Here's O'Boyle going through again. Plays it well, but again over the bar. A couple of chances there for O'Boyle in the first couple of minutes. And uh, this is looking good. This is a game we definitely need to win. And uh, what's betting that we go behind again like we have in the previous games. And uh, neatly passing it around there. Or Dunstan slides in, but misses the man, uh, thankfully. And there you go. Lucas, that man, helped by his refereeing uh, relative, has uh, put Nuneaton 1-0 up after in the third minute. And uh, poor defending again. we just not challenging for the balls. This was a strength of ours last season. I don't know what's happened to the defence. And we're letting in silly goals that we, we we could stop. So we need to get back in this game really quickly. I don't know whether it's something to do with fielding playing at the back. And uh, I've tried others there. Lund does, doesn't seem to be the same player. Here's Hamed. And he misses. We've had three good chances. And we're behind 1-0. We haven't hit the target yet. That's five now without hitting the target. And... Uh, Whilst we're on sign-ins, just uh, fielding there, takes the ball off there forward as he's about to have a strike at goal. Whilst we're on uh, new sign-ins, we have agreed a contract with a player, a left-back, but just just wide there by Nuneaton. And uh, it's, they're looking cl going close as well. And uh, it's a surprise that there's only one goal in this game so far. We have agreed a contract with a left-back, former Leeds United junior Ferguson, Connor Ferguson, I believe his name is. It's a good prospect and quite good ability at the moment. And hopefully there's no, comp there's no competition, so hopefully we should get that done. Old Boyle, at the third time of asking, scores his fourth goal of the season. A tap in there, good ball in from Denson, I believe it was. Let's have a look at that again. Longbottom in good form. Their defender misses it. Denson picks up. Their defender loses it again. Denson squares it. And O'Boyle guides it into the far corner. And we're back on level terms. 20 minutes on the clock. So hopefully we're going to solve that left back problem. And uh, sort the defence out. With, with this new signing. That's uh, if that one gets over the line the other signing as Lucas goes through again hits the post and uh, was that a Dunstan yeah a Dunstan just cleared that one and it's a corner to Nuneaton a lot of highlights in this one we're on the key highlights and uh, here's Jeb with the corner plays it out GSK punches but again we give the ball back we don't keep possession we're supposed to be playing short passes, but all we do is give it back to the opposition. And that's a goal kick. I don't know why that was a highlight. We had a punch from GSK and then a poor attempt. Lucas is a tell Sam Fielder to mark him. Go on then. If we can click on that, that is. So the other midfielder that we were going to get, just see this free kick from Fielding. In injury time in the first half. And uh, it's in. I thought that was side netting. Great goal from Field in there. It's first of the season. And we go into the break. 2-1 up. And there we go. Top corner. I thought that was side netting. But squeeze that one in. And we go in 2-1 up after being maybe speaking too soon here. It's not going to be 2-2. Look at that player. Unmarked. Brennan. Jeb. And uh, just over the bar. Going close. So chances at either end. Let's have a look at the XG then. 1.55 for us and 0.46 for Nuneaton. Goals from O'Boyle and the free kick from Fielding. Just before we go into that, the midfielder we agreed a contract with. 
he has gone to Geisley, believe it or not. Another team local and around about the same place in the league as us. I think they're just above us on goal difference before this game. He's gone to Geisley, 18-year-old midfielder Jay Buchan, ex-Leeds United. And uh, was same sort of wages, so they didn't offer him more money. But he's gone to Geisley, so he's the one we missed out on. Hopefully, we'll get this left back in. So let's get in the dressing room and praise the boys for the first half. But we need to tighten up a lot. So, uh, too many chances for next to bottom of the league, none eaten. So into the dressing room, I found out we've had an automatic sub being made. Uh, Reece Staunton has come off. Tom Sams has replaced him. Staunton not playing so well at 6.6. .6. That must have happened. I must have clicked on that by mistake or something. But it's not something I would have done at half-time or before. I've also had a word with the defenders. Keep going. You know you have the ability to make a difference today. Go and prove it. And that's motivated and inspired our defenders all except Osborne, who is normal. We'll see if we can defend a little bit better. Attacking players playing well. Let's get into the second half. Hopefully we can wrap this one up and start moving up the table. So they've made a sub. Lucas has gone off. Good for us. Uh, Lucas is uh, relative. The referee uh, maybe found out about that. So they've got him off. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. That there's not none of that goes on. So Dunstan is filling in for Spencer today, who's suspended, but he's been playing well in that uh, defensive midfield role. Knocks the ball out, keepers coming out of his box and clears that one, but doesn't go into touch. Picked up by the aforementioned Dodson, who turned us down. But scrappy is this, Osborne across to Sams. Dunstan, this is how I want us to play. Just short passes, moving the ball through, none of this belting it up front or belting it to their players. Hamed. Hamed puts a lovely ball through Denson, but straight at the keeper. Could have done better with that one. And uh, combining our two 17-year-olds there. Uh, GSK is the skipper today because Spencer is uh, missing. We're on to 71. Let's have a look, see if we can make some changes then. Uh, Dunstan is struggling and wants to be subbed. Well, if I have a look then and see if we can freshen things up a little bit. So Osborne's very poor. Fielding's very poor, although he's playing well at 8.2. Poor Mitch Lund, it's the defenders mainly. But Hamed is also very poor. He's not doing a lot of running around, so he should be able to manage the game. Surprisingly, Lund's playing better. Uh, he's not been playing well in that left-back role or anywhere else. We've tried him in the middle as well. So Mitch Lund not showing the form up to today that he showed last season. We don't have the defensive strength in depth. To have a lot of defenders on the bench. Let's put a Dunstan to right back. And we've got to take Osborne off. The, I've been warned about him a while being tired. We could really do with signing some midfielders as well. We're down to the bones with Spencer being out. I'm going to move Hopper to centre. He can play there. Ball winning midfielder on defend. And who are we going to bring on at, on the right side? We bring Doherty on. He didn't play well in the last game and he's nervous. But he has uh, created goals for us. So we're going to keep it at that for now. Longbottom's not so good at 6.5. I'm going to push him forward a little bit. We've got Lund backing him up there. A bit lopsided. 4-2-2-2. And uh, we'll see how that goes. We've really got to see this game out and get another goal, really. 75th minute we're into. And that's the one sub we've made. And uh, things are going by. Three yellow cards for Nuneaton. Our disciplinary has been pretty good this season, apart from Spencer being sent off. Uh, only we've kept off the hard tackling. And come on, get the ball up the other end. Hopper to Lund. Play it short. Keep possession. Denson, good header through. A boil again. And a wild shot. He could have had three or four goals today. Could have boil. He just got the one. And uh, Denson again. Misses that one. Roberts beats him. Look at the play in the middle. Try marking him. Oh, but Sams comes in. Good tackle there by Sams. O'Boyle. O'Boyle again. Can he, he's offside there. Denson's offside. He's going to score here. Puts it into O'Boyle. I have a feeling that that is offside against Denson. But we'll see. The referee's backing off. Maybe not. Maybe not. We're going to get a third goal. Let's have a look at it again then. O'Boyle. Is this left back maybe playing him onside? Look possible but you look clear on that side and a boil fifth chance scores the second goal so he's got two from five chances and with three went up with three minutes added time i'm gonna make some changes now let's give these 
players are rest. Mitch Lund very poor, fielding very poor. A Dunstan is only poor, so he can stay at that. I'm going to bring McLaughlin on for Lund. Change him to be a fullback on defend. So we really could do with about five or six subs with the fitness of our players. So hopefully we can see this through. Let's just change to a slower tempo and be more disciplined. We don't want to throw this away. Focus play down the left, get that off. Work the ball into the box. Time wasting. We're going to do time wasting even though we're 3-1 up. We've got to get this result in the bag. So last change then. Lund comes off and Kieran McLaughlin. Here he is, Lund not being made yet. Knocks the ball in there. Hopper picks up. Don't give it away. Denson in the channel. He's running in the channel. Maybe we can get another one here. Denson plays it across, but cut out by Roberts. There's Sams. He's looked good since he's come on. Denson. Oh, what a long ball that was. And Denson makes it 4-1 from Sams. Long clearance upfield, but it's offside. And uh, it's not going to count. So there we are. 3-1. Three, three points in the bag. Let's have a look at the stats. 20 shots, 8 on target. Only one shot on target by Nuneaton. Their goal... 2.18 HG against 0.68. So a comprehensive win in the end. Seven corners to two. More possession. No yellow cards. And goals from O'Boyle, Fielding and O'Boyle. Carter Denson, man of the match, even though O'Boyle got two goals. So Carter Denson is really coming to the fore. And the front three, we just need to shore, shore up our defence. Get some defenders in that, that can last 90 minutes. That, that would be a start. But a very good performance there against Nuneaton. Let's see where we are in the table then. So we're up to 16th place. Eight points from seven games. More than a point a game. That's what we're aiming for initially. Still work to be done. We're in lower mid-table. Let's just have a look at the top of the table. Scarborough, 16 points from six games. Five teams on 16 points. And then 15 or 14. It's tight. It's very tight in them playoffs at the moment. But only seven games played. Long way to go yet. Next game, I'm going to come back with Scarborough away on the 21st of October. Scarborough at the top of the table. So hopefully we'll be in a better position by then. And maybe we'll have a stronger team that can last out 90 minutes. So thank you very much for watching this. Please make some comments. I'd like to interact with people. So, you know, we can have a bit of dialogue, a bit of banter. Let me know if you think I should be doing anything different. I am not going to sign players based on searching for them. They will all be scouted. So Scarborough away in the next episode. Hope you can join me then. Thanks very much again. Dave Dog. goodbye for now.